Good morning. If you're committed to living intentionally this month, it's the 1st of June. Shall we make this month count? We're practically halfway through the year. Can you even believe that? I, I can't believe it. Um, it's really interesting how all of my desires and goals and dreams of since kind of, sort of like March, April, May, yeah, the last three months, a lot of them just went out the window and I've been in such a state of surrender as we all have, right? Hey, Natasha, good to have you. Um, yeah, all of my goals for the last three months in terms of like, I say my goals, not every single goal, all sorts of goals are still kind of a work in progress. Um, you know, trips. I was supposed to have just recently been to Italy. I was meant to be doing, speaking at some events in LA. Um, I was intending to have been running a retreat in June. Um, what else? Dance classes my husband and I had committed to. Uh, comedy gigs we'd committed to. Like we had this whole kind of like schedule of fun. When I say schedule, you know, we had this list of fun things that we wanted to do. We'd signed up for and all this stuff that, you know, in January when I was planning out my year and deciding what I was calling in, so much of it the last three months just gone out the window. So it's been a huge, um, a huge lesson in surrender and just letting go and allowing what will be to be, you know. Uh, if you're joining on Facebook and you are, hello, uh, could you please say hello? Let me know who's, who's there, who's watching, who's joining for today's uh, ritual. Um, yeah, so it's really nice to set our intentions for the year, for the month, for the day. And then we do have to allow ourselves to kind of release and let that go, right? Because who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what's around the corner? It doesn't mean that we don't stop living intentionally, right? It doesn't mean that we don't stop connecting in with our spiritual truth and our deepest desires and allowing those to be expressed in the world. We don't stop doing that. Hello, hi, online tutoring. Hello, what's your name? Do you have an actual name that I can say hi? Uh, Facebookers, who's joining? I'd love to say hello. Um, yeah, so these Monday morning rituals are all about um, connecting with what we desire for our day and setting ourselves up for the week ahead. Mona, hi Mona, nice to have you. Um, yeah, setting ourselves up for the week ahead. And because it's the 1st of June, it feels important to also, hi Rebecca, it feels important to kind of set ourselves up for the month ahead as well. Again, with an air of surrender and grace and allowing to receive what we're meant to receive, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. So I think we're all here for now. I'm wondering how you're all feeling. Are you willing to share? How are you feeling this morning? Yeah, are you feeling inspired? Are you feeling excited for the month ahead? How are you feeling that we're nearing halfway through the year already? Hi, Lindy, good morning. How are you feeling halfway through the year? Natalie, Natasha, sorry, saying so many changes. Yeah, totally, so many changes. I'm feeling really good today. I'm feeling like I've got a bit of a spring in my step. Um, I'm kind of excited for a few things that I want to get done this week, uh, including my taxes. <laughs> I'm like, I've been waiting. I don't do anything unless I feel the kind of impetus and the urge to do it and it feels good. And this week feels good to wrap up my last financial year's taxes. Hi, Tony. <laughs> Um, and I've got a bunch of other things I'm going to be doing, but it's funny that I'm actually excited to just get my accounting up to speed and hand it over to my accountant. Uh, I'm also leading the charge this month in my evolution membership with a month all about pleasure, completely focused on pleasure. So there'll be daily questions in our Facebook group all around pleasure. We're going to be sharing what's pleasurable day to day in the group. Uh, we have an app which sends out love notes every single day. They're all going to be geared up to pleasure because it's something that I've experienced in my own life and that I see in so many women's life and men's life. We do not give ourselves permission to have pleasure. When I talk about pleasure, I'm talking about 
living in a way that feels really good for you? How are you injecting joy into your life? How are you injecting fun into your life? How are you actually allowing yourself to receive experiences that have you feel good? Yes, hi Flo, Natasha's planning to return home on Friday. Brilliant, Mona, I wish you best, my dear. Thank you so much. Uh, Lindy, can't believe it's already June. I know, only trouble is hay fever season for me. Yeah, we've been feeling a little bit that like that in our household. Hey Sophie, Rebecca's saying I feel excited for the month ahead, especially for our evolution pleasure month. Yes, I was surprised at how hard it was for me last week to find 50 things to list. Halfway through the year feels like a surprise. I know. Melissa, good morning. Yeah. Yeah. So where I set the challenge, didn't I, last week to connect with uh, what feels good for you, what would bring you pleasure. And uh, I invited you to write at least 50 things. And yeah, it's not. It, I think once you get going and I think, Rebecca, by the end of this month, you're going to find that really, really easy. You'll start to tune into so many things that can bring pleasure. Um, you know, my cup of tea right now is will bring me pleasure. It is bringing me pleasure. Even just holding the mug brings me pleasure. Um, oh, great. I'm glad you like listening. Thank you. Um, but the reason why we're focusing an entire month on feeling good is because we're just not practiced at it. We're not practiced at giving ourselves permission to receive it. And it really is a muscle to be built. It's a habit to get into in your life, to start allowing yourself to move through your day, to move through your weeks, to move through your whole year, allowing yourself to feel good along the way. Like you don't have to earn it. You don't have to work hard before you get to receive it. And uh, so that is what we're gonna be practicing in the membership this month. And I always need to go deeper with this piece, always. I always need to go deeper with it. So I'm really enjoying that I get to do this alongside the members in the group. It's gonna be fun. So are we ready to dive in? I'm pretty sure that those who are going to join live today are here. So shall we just dive straight into today's practice, which to start with is just going to be, it's going to be a closed eye experience, um, a little bit of breathing to release fear. Like most of you here already will be familiar with some of what we're going to do now. But what we have never done together before is just sit in meditation. I've guided you through guided visualizations. It's very different to just sitting in silent meditation. Morning, Liz. Um, so yeah, I wanna, I'll take you through a little breathing practice. You know, I'll be speaking you through a process and then we're just gonna sit together in complete silence which for anyone that happens to join the live halfway through will be like, oh my God, I think the screen's frozen and she's sat there with her eyes closed. Uh, just for 10 minutes. And I'm not going to set an alarm or a timer or anything. I'm just going to trust that um, I'll know when 10 minutes-ish is up. But it's so easy to make our practices and our, our spiritual practice a, a kind of a doing exercise rather than a being and receiving exercise. And I And even meditation can become a bit of a doing exercise when all we do is listen to guided visualizations. And while I'm a huge fan of them and I've released three meditation albums, which are all guided visualizations, I absolutely love them. And in my own practice, I find it incredibly powerful to just sit in silence, be with me, allow myself to watch my mind do her thing, the spinning, <laughs> the ruminating, the conversations, the judging, the list building, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, it's interesting just to watch that until it silences and then feel myself drop home. I just feel myself drop in and home and I can feel my energy expand and I can feel myself just kind of floating and being in this space that has no name. It just is a feeling. And when I'm there, I never, ever, ever want to leave. And sometimes that feeling lasts for a split second and sometimes it can last for quite an extended period of time. Uh, sometimes it's just kind of a nothingness, just a, it almost is like, if you've ever been in a, uh, what are they called? A, um, Oh, what's the, the thing, help me when I describe this, tell me, type in what it is. You go into like this, 
it, it's like a bath of water and they, they kind of close the lid over and you float float tank there you go <laughs> if you've ever been in one of those salt water float tanks and it's completely silent and you're just sort of floating it's like being back in the womb sometimes I'm just there and it's like this sort of nothingness this sort of abyss but it's so it feels so safe and yeah womb like and other times I go travel off somewhere and it's it's incredible and I don't know where I go and I come back and I know I've been off somewhere and it's been really rather exciting uh, but I can't remember it when I come back so I have all sorts of different experiences when I'm meditating uh, it's a very very different experience to a guided visualization today we're only going to sit in silence for 10 minutes and in that 10 minutes you might only just experiencing experience witnessing your thoughts that's all you might receive from 10 minutes 10 minutes isn't very long but I also know for those of you that aren't practiced at sitting in pure silence and just plain straight up meditation 10 minutes can seem like a freaking lifetime right <laughs> and it can be it can feel frustrating it can bring up a lot because you really are noticing what's going on in your mind um, so let's just see whatever it is for you allow it to be whatever it is for you it's just 10 minutes though and then uh, when we finish that we'll set our intentions for the month ahead I've already told you mine's all going to be all about pleasure uh, and uh, and then we'll do a quick card reading yeah up for an oracle card reading yeah cool okay all right so I invite you now to close your eyes hmm and just breathe Just close your eyes and breathe. Okay, so to start with, I want to invite you to connect in with everything that you're scared of at the moment. Just allow your mind to scan and connect with everything that feels scary, what feels fearful. And then just take a moment to notice what you're angry about. Take a moment to notice what you're frustrated with. Take a moment to notice what's making you sad, scared, vulnerable. Notice how delicate that is. Notice what doesn't feel delicate, what feels very raw, what feels very strong, rage-like perhaps. I'm asking you to tune in to the bigger, heavier, more uncomfortable feelings, perhaps even the more socially unacceptable feelings. Just take a moment to acknowledge what's bringing those feelings up for you, like what's been going on for you, what's your experience has been the last few days, weeks, months, what's been going on for you that's having you feeling this stuff. There's no judgment. Just total acknowledgement. I think there's such, such a relief in acknowledging it. All right, and now I want you to just really give yourself permission to fully dial in and dial up those feelings. And I'm going to invite you to imagine you have a straw. Some of you know this straw breath practice that I call it. And imagine you have a straw running from your perineum 
all the way up through the center line of your body and out the roof of your head, out through your crown. And I want you to imagine that with that straw, you're going to use your breath to suck up all of these feelings, memories, experiences. And you're going to slowly suck them up, suck them up, suck them up, suck them up through your body, slowly, slowly up and up and up through your body until they all reach your head where you can't breathe in anymore and you're going to hold that breath. So you're going to hold the energy of all of those big emotions in your head and allow it to build up and build up and build up until you can't hold it any longer. And then you're going to blow it forcefully and perhaps with a noise and release it out the roof of your head. You're going to move it through and up and out of your body, up into the sky, into the light where it will be disintegrated and recycled. This is a process that allows you to acknowledge the heavier energies and release the he heavier energies and allow the light to do her thing. Allow yourself to be released of it. So let's start and we'll breathe this up and out several times before we change up our breathing. So just start now. We're gonna breathe in all the anger, the disappointment, the sadness, the vulnerability, the fear, Breathe it up, breathe it up, breathe it up, breathe it up until it reaches your head. When you can't breathe it in any longer, you're going to allow it to build in your head. And build and build and build and release. Blow it out the roof of your head. And again. Breathe it up, all those unsaid conversations, your worries, your concerns, your to-do lists, the anger, the people that have annoyed you. Breathe it up, breathe it up, breathe it up, breathe it up. Hold it in the roof of your head for as long as you possibly can until you can't hold it any longer and you're really connected with the intensity of all of those feelings and then blow it out the roof of your head and do it again. Tears will probably come. Breathing it up, breathing it up, breathing it up, breathing it up. Allowing yourself to dial up the intensity as it hits your head. Feel the intensity, let it build, let it expand. Bring it all forward and when you can't hold it any longer, release it all to the light where it will be recycled. And do it one more time. Last time, make it count. Breathe it up, breathe it up, breathe it up, breathe it up, breathe it up. Breathe it up, breathe it up and hold it and hold it and hold it and hold it until you can't hold it any longer. And if there's any last remnant that needs to be released from your body, you don't need it anymore. Blow it out the roof of your head. Good, good, good. Well done. Very good. Mm, just breathing normally. Beautiful work. Keep just stay present, stay present, stay present and just breathe. Well done. Just breathing. And now we're going to do some breathing that will allow your nervous system to relax. So I want you to breathe in for a count of three, your own count of three. In through your nose, your own count of three, and then out for a count of six. You can breathe out through your nose or mouth. I quite like breathing out through my mouth. I feel like it's very cleansing. So at your own speed, breathing in through your nose for three. and breathing out through your mouth for six. And breathing in for three. And out for six. If you feel comfortable to breathe in for four and then out for eight. 
So just follow your own body. Breathe in a way that feels really good for you. The most important thing is that your out breath is quite considerably longer than your in breath. If you have amazing lung capacity, you might want to breathe in for five and then out for 10, maybe even in for six and out for 12, whatever feels good for you. Keep going a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Beautiful, beautiful. And so now you're just going to sit remaining with your eyes closed. <sighs> Doesn't really matter how you're sitting. As long as you're relaxed, as much as possible, your back is straight. And I really like to have my hands on my lap with my palms facing up. Hmm. And just allow yourself to breathe normally. I'm just going to remind you while you're breathing normally that you're safe. We've now got 10 minutes of spacious, beautiful time together to just sit and individually be with our spiritual selves and with the awareness that collectively as we do this together, it's just really rather a beautiful experience. You're not alone. And many of you might be sitting physically alone right now in a house on your own in this moment, energetically, we're choosing to be together. We're choosing to enjoy the same practice, of connecting to our spirit, which might simply be just allowing that wise part of us to witness our thoughts. That might be all it is for the next 10 minutes. Just witnessing and watching without judgment the antics of our mind. If you're a seasoned meditator, you might just drop into silence very quickly and easily. I've been meditating for years and it still takes me a solid 15 minutes before I can drop in. So just breathing. And witnessing your thoughts. But choosing to come back to your heart with the mantra, I am here. I am here. I am here. You'll notice your thoughts and then you'll bring yourself back. I am here. I am here. You'll notice your thoughts. And you'll bring yourself back. I am here. And 
I'm going to now allow my eyes to focus inward. It's almost like I just look backwards within. And when I do that, I hit silence. I find it's harder to, for my mind to chatter. And sometimes I just sit in darkness or sometimes I sit in light when I allow my eyes to kind of focus backwards and within. You might like to try it. You notice your mind get busy. Just pull yourself back with I am here and refocus inwards and keep breathing. Your mind might get busy, remind yourself I am here and refocus backwards within, keep breathing. Now we're going to sit in pure silence.
Okay. And start to bring your awareness back. Hmm. Just start to feel yourself present in your body. Maybe have a little stretch. Mm, I feel really relaxed then. That was rather lovely. <sighs> Just coming back. Mm. And just allow your experience to have been whatever that was. No judgment. I actually invite you to acknowledge and congratulate yourself for having just given yourself 10 minutes of complete peace and silence. How lovely, what a gift, pure self-love that is. And if you've got a journal and a pen from this place of peace, and connectedness. I wonder if you could write out what this month of June, which is bringing us up to halfway through the year already, 2020, halfway through already. By the end of this month, we'll be halfway. What's this month about for you? What would you really like as we enter July? What do you want to reflect back on the last six months and know, yeah, I, I did that, or I, I I achieved feeling that, or I experienced that. Um, and it could be a, a, just another level of peace with yourself. It could be another level of self-knowing. Maybe you've got a ginormous business goal and you wanna have seen that you've moved, you know, significantly towards that. Hi, Barney. <laughs> Hey, Melissa, thank you. You're welcome. So what's this month about for you? I told you that I'm already um, focused very much around pleasure and feeling good. I mean, that's kind of an ongoing, constant intention of mine, but I'm, I'm stepping it up a, a few gears in the membership this month. We're doing a challenge, a, a full, is it 30 days this month, 30-day challenge um, around feeling good and pleasure, which is going to be really fun. <sighs> So what is it for you this month? Get intentional, yeah? Get intentional. I'd love to know how you're feeling as well. Hey, Barney. Yeah, I'd love to know how you're feeling after that. And I'm gonna shuffle my Oracle cards. I know we're just over the half an hour. We usually finish at half an hour. So if you wanna stick around and hear a card reading, please do. Um, yeah, please do. And by the way, while I'm shuffling, I'm just going to recommend the book I'm reading at the minute. Most of you know I've just finished reading The Surrender Experiment by Michael Singer, uh, which I've read many times before, and I've just read it again, and I freaking love it. And now I'm reading his other book, which, you know, has been my Bible for years. If any of you on the call, clients of mine, you know I've recommended this, The Untethered Soul. I'm reading it again. Again, I, I've lost count how many times I've read this book. Uh, it's The Untethered Soul, The Journey Beyond Self. It's absolutely brilliant. The guy is, the guy, Michael has seen it. He's just amazing, just a stunning human, uh, amazing insights. Hi, Natalie. That was delicious. Caught the end of it, managed to spill tea over me when one of the dogs jumped up. <laughs> yeah, my puppy is downstairs being taken care of. Hello, sing happy. I love that tag. Hello. Right, let's do a quick card reading. Ooh. Let's see what Wild Kuan Yin has for us today. Okay. Hmm. What do we need to know today? What do we need to know today? Okie dokie. Apparently today hold on to me there it is hold on to me let's take a look at what that says oh, oh my god i opened straight to the page meant to be uh all right 
in your prayers, I have heard your heart asking, can this journey move a little quicker? Are there things that could be happening now instead of later? How often do we think that? So I respond to you and your pace is about to quicken. You'll be on the same path, moving towards the same destination, but with my help, your process will be accelerated. It may get a little bumpy with this increase in speed, so put your energy and focus into our connection as I help carry you forward. For now, that will be all that's needed for circumstances in your life to get moving at an adventurous pace. Who needed to hear this? All right, the guidance is, divine genius has the pace of our path perfectly timed so that all the necessary ingredients for success synchronize perfectly. People, situations and circumstances are ready for when we arrive and we are ready for them. We have free will, of course, which means we can take our time in working through our challenges and making our choices. Sometimes we will feel pushed by life and at other times we will feel that we want to give our life a push to move a bit faster through some issue or other. The Divine Mother has heard such a prayer in your heart and rather than urging you to have more patience, she's agreed to your request. Rather than walking the path using your own legs and feet, you're going to hitch a lift with the Divine Mother. Who doesn't love to hitch a lift with the Divine Mother? Her ways are ingenious and not always obvious. They're certainly fast and effective. If your life has been sedate, lacking in excitement, or has even seemed boring at times, prepare for a change. Your life is about to become a lot more interesting. I needed to hear that. <laughs> To agree to the offer of divine hitchhiking, you'll have to surrender your personal plan for how to get from where you are now to your next destination and place your trust completely in the Divine Mother. When she takes over, it is complete. She knows what she's doing, but you may not always understand her methods. Let go of needing to know and instead surrender and allow her to take you on an incredible journey. Okay, so in a reading, absolute and unconditional trust in divine assistance will help you leap over obstacles very quickly at this time. Let go of control and follow your inner guidance. Yeah, and that's why we meditate, right? That's why we spend that precious quiet time with our spirits, because that's how we let go of control. That's how we can follow our inner guidance. It's, it's yeah, that's the way. If you feel chaos or uncertainty now, it's because the divine is taking over in response to your deep, true needs and helping you through a tricky time. Allow this to happen. You are safe. Focus on your divine connection with peace in your heart and let everything unfold as it will. If you've been asking for help in any area of your life, you are being given clear confirmation that the divine mother is sorting it out for you and swiftly at that. Your prayers will be answered and rapidly, and you're advised to completely let go of trying to sort it out any further. When you feel inner guidance to act, act. When you, feel, when you intuitively feel to wait, be patient and allow things to work themselves out. Brilliant, isn't that brilliant? Okay, so there's a, there's a prayer and a healing process. So if you'd like to join in, there's a couple of questions, I'll answer those in a second. Um, so if you want to repeat this prayer in your mind or out loud, just close your eyes. I like to put my hand on my heart and repeat after me. Kuan Yin, who loves me without condition, I place my mind completely within the light of your heart. That light fills my mind now. I place my heart completely within the love of your gaze. Sorry, I've just realized I was reading very fast. Let me start again so you can repeat after me. Kuan Yin who loves me without condition. I place my mind completely within the light of your heart. That light fills my mind now. I place my heart completely within the love of your gaze. That love fills my heart now. I place my body completely within the safety of your protection. That protection fills my body 
now. I surrender. I hold on to only you. And I accept the acceleration of my path with absolute trust. Thank you for your grace, mercy and intervention. Through my own free will and your endless compassion and power, so be it. And so now you're invited to relax for as long as feels good. And that means you finished your healing process. Uh, Sing, my name is Katie, Katie Phillips. The name of the book, which Natalie, I think, has beautifully answered. Thanks, Natalie. Yeah, if they're the wild, um, wild quan, oh, the book, hold on, or the cards. Uh, can you name the book? Okay, well, the cards are Wild Kuan Yin Oracle Cards. The book, The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. I also recommend you read his book, The Surrender Experiment. You might like to read my book, <laughs> The Self-Love Affair. And amen to that. Yes, indeed. I'm so glad. Yeah, Rebecca, we do love a bit of divine hitchhiking, don't we? Glad you love it, Sophie. Barney's feeling relaxed. I love that. I've just loved hanging out with you guys. I know we've run over today, uh, but I really did feel like I wanted to just sit in silence with you. I wonder how, I would love to know how did you experience that? Did you enjoy, we've not done that before, have we? All of these uh, sessions that we've had, and we had them daily for five weeks, the first five weeks of uh, cocooning or lockdown. Um, we never actually sat in total silence and allowed ourselves to just kind of drop in and meditate together. Did you enjoy that? Would you like to do that again next Monday? Perhaps let me know. Um, I, I do like to mix it up. So glad to have had you join. Thank you for coming. And uh, I will see those of you that can make it at midday on Wednesday. We'll do some Q&A. If you have a question for me that you want answered, let me know. Uh, you should know how to contact me. There's so many ways, aren't there? Facebook, Instagram, email, through our contact page at the school of self .love. Um, Yeah, Rebecca, you loved that? Good, I'm glad. <laughs> Sophie said it's deeply relaxing. Liz could have sat like that all day. Wow, yeah, I, I hear you on that at the moment. Yeah, you guys really enjoyed it. Beautiful. Great, Barney found it really centering. Beautiful, okay, so maybe we'll do a bit of meditation together again next week. Those of you that can, I'll see you on Wednesday uh, midday. I'm also gonna be here Friday at five o'clock for some self-love wisdom. If you're not part of the Evolution membership, I'll put the link in somewhere. Come on over, check it out. We are doing a full challenge all of this month on pleasure, all around feeling good. Maybe you'd like to join us for that. Annabelle, hello, darling. I'm so glad you found that relaxing. That's great. Yep, cool. Okay, guys, Mwah. love you loads. Thanks for being here with me. What a great way to start a week and a month, hey? See you next week. Bye.